This uh, Mr. Impatient over here on the Discord yesterday shared a kill <coughs> where he got a 1 minute 19 Chasm Quaker kill using Crystal and just a Dragon 2H Warhammer to lower the defense. Looks like he has a Crystal Halberd on him as well. Not sure if that's the best option, I would probably still go with my Ancient Godsaw, but I thought it was worth testing out a bit. Uh, I'm not currently at Chasm, still doing my Abyssal Demons, that's okay. But I was thinking maybe for the final bit of a boss points here, because we are slowly approaching the uh, big 10,000 here. We can do a bit more Chasm Quaker, start working on the Chasm Quaker bow. Because even at Hydra, I think that is going to be the play, the way to go with Chasm Bow OP. But until then, I might use a Seldor. We'll have to wait and see. Um, regardless, though, do a bit, a little bit of CM Chasm, see how it goes using full crystal. And I can share that with you guys. It might also be a pretty viable option, I think, nowadays, if you use it at uh, Night Terror, for example. I'm not entirely sure, but if you are someone at the stage of the game where you have like Etorex but no Inquisitor yet and stuff, but you are capable of obtaining full crystal and a Blade of Seldor or even the Bofa, it might be pretty damn viable at Terror. I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because uh, you get such a massive accuracy boost that its weakness to crush becomes probably entirely neglectable. Uh, you would still need to lower the defense probably a bit, but nothing too crazy. I think it will do pretty damn well on there. Uh, likewise, I also want to try it out at Chasm in a bit and then maybe at Hydra and stuff. Hydra, well, the thing with Hydra is any kind of dragon or demon, Shazy and I is too strong. It's so much damage. I think it's 60% for the whole set that you kind of always want to use that, but I think it's worth trying a kill with Crystal at least, just to see if the accuracy is at a high enough level where it matters. I mean, I'm saying that, but honestly, uh, full Crystal armor already gives like 30%, doesn't it? I think it does. On left, open table, armor. Yeah, plus 10% damage per piece in PVM and then 20% for the set bonus. So you can already get 50% damage, which is 10% lower than Shazy and I. But then, because you're using that, you also get like the Crystal Blessing with the Seldor and stuff. I mean, that won't matter too much because you can use it with Shazy and as well. Yeah, it's basically, is that 10% damage less worth it when you gain a 50% more accuracy boost? That's kind of what we need to figure out. It's not that much of a difference, it might still be pretty fucking viable to be honest. But I would use the Shazy and I for like Fang of the Beast specs and Ancient Gods Ornament specs, stuff like that. Glad we're approaching it soon, I do want to do a chunky amount of Hydra, I really wanted to do like a dedicated loot front for it, because ever since they changed the drop table, you know, it's just been very appealing to me. Uh, that's not even how you find it, is it? Hydra. Philosopher's Hydra, there we go. Uh, they added these Hydra letters to the table, and the claw is only 1 in 25 nowadays. So 1 in 25 to either get one letter or a claw, potentially double it. But now 1 in 50 for two letters, or even three at 1 in 100. Imagine doubling that for six letters in one drop, like... The potential money is there, I haven't really done any dedicated Hydra grinding on MGI ever since that change was made, so yeah, it would be a new experience for me as well. We'll have to find out how good the RNG is on this account in terms of spawning the superiors and then what kind of drops we get, but I think there's some good money to be made there and I'm really looking forward to testing that out, so that's kind of the overall future plans here. Let's go finish off this Enraged and I'll do a little bit of CM Chasm to see how Crystal performs. So I realized, you know, the Unholy Ring is pretty decent overall, but it only has 3 strength bonus. Which is nice in and of itself, but not great for Crystal, so I was thinking what other ring we can buy. Grand Rings are fucking unaffordable nowadays, apparently. The regular ones are like 40 bill and then you would still have to enchant it, and I think it's like a 1 in 4 chance. So, Grand Ring Eye is what, like over 150 bill now probably? There's none in TP, so I'm not even sure, but uh, I did notice this alternative option. Would have never really purchased this before in my life, but now that we have full crystal, this Cursed Ring Eye gives 10 Strength Bonus, 10 Prayer Bonus, a bunch of accuracy and defensive ones. Just really nice overall for melee. Range and Mage not so much, but for pure melee and only 2 bill GP in the trading post, fuck it, right? May as well purchase one. And this is one of the worst, like, <laughs> setups I've ever seen in my life. So much switches for one kill, but it is what it is. 
Not entirely sure how else to do it, because even with Inquisitor, which gives a 10% accuracy bonus and Blessing another 10%, Dragon Warhammer still misses it a little bit more regularly than I would have liked it to. So I still want to use the... Uh, fuck's sake. Use the accuracy bonus from that to get my special attacks off. Then switch to full crystal with the tome, with the ring, with the blessing to start dealing damage. And then also have the Ancient Gods over the blessing of the Berserker to hopefully hit with that. Cool. Let's give it a tr let's give it a try. Maybe I can reduce the switches later as well. It shouldn't be that big a deal. All right, here we go. Might have to lower the defense twice. Failed the first attempt because I sucked. I wasn't using the right prayer in the first place. It's been a little while. This is looking a little bit better already. Hitting some reasonable stuff. I'll probably only spec ones and use Galvanic Boots as well if I want to get two Ancient Godsword specs off, because right now I only get one. Let's see how much of a difference that will... Oh, fuck, that's gonna kill me. Somehow did not kill me. I'm gonna guess that Crystal is still gonna hit pretty damn accurate even through all this defense. That is the strong part here, huh? Wow. 44 seconds? What the fuck? Yeah, hmm. Okay, that's actually pretty damn good. Is the fact that you're not hitting a, a shitload of zeros at the end there. Huh. I'll have to do a bit more testing and I'll come back to you guys. Yeah, it seems like you definitely want to get a second spec off, because at this defense I'm still not hitting at all. Huh. Alright, I actually got rid of the full Inquisitor switch, because... Even if it works out well, I'd rather die a couple more times to restore my spec than uh, do it at such a high intensity level. You know, all those switches and shit, bit annoying. But I think this should get the job done pretty well. If it can give us consistent sub 1 minute kills, I would definitely say that's worth using. Because Inquisitor was nice as well, and keep in mind I don't have the full Executioner set, I'm missing two pieces. Which, 6% chance is pretty hefty, let's be real. Um, but sometimes shit wouldn't proc, and even if it procced, it would hit zeros. And it's sometimes made for extremely long kills. It really depends on how this does in comparison. I also notice that whenever I start commentating, I just fuck up in every regard possible. Taking way too much damage, but... Yeah, even then, I mean, the zeros are still on the lower side. I still a zero here, obviously. It's a lot of defense that it has, but... One minute, three kill? That is genuinely not bad. We're still kind of strong. Yeah, what I learned so far, <laughs> you gotta land two specs. If you fail a spec, just kill yourself and try again. Oh, that sounds so wrong, right? But like, just suicide with the uh, Dwarven Rock Cake in-game and <laughs> try again. Have to land two specs, it does mean I only get one Ancient God Sword off. But it's honestly worth it, because it means I hit very, very little zeros at the end. And it just makes more of a difference than the AG AGSR, also because this thing isn't consistent. Now... When we eventually get the update back where uh, the Ancient Gods are hit gets the guaranteed 250, even if you hit a zero again, that will change things. Then I would say probably one Dragon Warhammer is enough. You're gonna do a guaranteed 500 damage at the end, and then you only need to do a little bit of damage on top of that. Plus your Steel Titan is hitting, so that's enough. But now if you zero with the Ancient God Sword or you're gonna be happy you'll lower that defense twice, because you're not gonna hit fuck all if you don't. Literally, night and day difference. So, yeah, this is working pretty well. Would I... Yeah, do I prefer it over Inquisitor? A bit hard to say. I kind of like it, though. It's, it feels very consistent, and that's because of the accuracy. Um, yeah. Executioner most definitely can get the faster kills. I don't doubt that for a minute. Like, in terms of, like, hitting your personal bests. Executioner is gonna get that done if you get lucky procs. Uh, but if you want consistent around the one minute mark kills without too much of a hassle, this works. Ever so slightly. One kill is still a little better than the other, but... Every time I record to get like a good example, I get like the worst of the worst kills, but I don't think that's even that terrible. One minute 13, that's pretty good. And if you're a main account, Crystal is extremely accessible nowadays. It's so cheap. The helm is already at like two bill. Costs nothing. Well, damn, there's a 37 second kill. This, uh, this definitely works. Haven't seen much of a loot yet already to spawn a second Titan. 37 seconds I thought was worth shouting out for. Yeah, I just hit 34 seconds. 
Apparently neither of those are new PBs, which is interesting. I don't remember what my fastest scale was, but it's crazy how close this gets to like full in Inquisitor with Executioner legs at least. Damn bro, this shit good. Yep, yeah, okay, I changed my mind. Uh, one spec is plenty. I mean, landing two AGS horses is the hard part, but when you do it just speeds it up that much. That's how I was getting those 30 foot second kills as well. It's a bit more risky, if you fail the AGS horse, yes, you're gonna have a shitty time, but if both of them land, that's yeah, pretty fucking good. Even now, even though I'm killing it pretty slow here in the last bit, still a uh, 50 second kill, call it. Alright, good morning boys. Had a few late night clips, but didn't want to record too much because I figured, you know, may as well do it in the morning or we can commentate again. First things first, a bunch of things have ended up selling overnight, including those quest pieces and everything. Giving us another 14 bill right there. Not too shabby, not too bad. 7.5 bill remaining. Uh, ended up doing my hunt left daily real quick. I do think I ended up showing that one. Uh, and we did enough Chasm Quaker to reach 10,000 boss points, even more than. So that is pretty damn nice as well. Now at 35 pill, just gonna keep accumulating money for now. Um, yes, this means we can officially go ahead and get Superior Slayer bosses number two. Double the chance to spawn them. Just huge. This is the big one. I cannot wait to get started on Hydra. I think I'm gonna start immediately, even if our gear isn't the best. Uh, because I'm just so fucking curious. But before we can do that, we actually do have to go ahead and finish the currency pouch, since we're still a little bit of rune coins off. Let's go check the trading post if there's 50 more sacred tokens, don't need 20 at least. Um, for a reasonable price, uh, 200 mil, I mean it's more reasonable. Okay, 15 right here. Why do you have it in coins though? Like, put it, put your shit in platinum stacks everyone. That's frustrating. Okay, we can buy 10 just like that. Have to make more GP, another biller. That will bring us the 30 sacred tokens. Buy the Karasi sword. We already have the four pulled staff. Now if we can get the uh, Zerite bow later, and we can complete that collection log as well. Now with this exchange, do I have a Ring of Greed on? Yes, I do, okay. Just wanna get those extra. I could have noticed based on how many tokens it gives. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, with that 100k, the currency pouch, for those of you that don't know, is capable of storing all different kinds of currencies. I'll give a little showcase of it in a second here. Will cost me 100k rune coins, so worth it. This is all the stuff you can store in it, a lot. Donator tokens, charms even, golden tickets, skilling task tokens, barbarian tokens, hunger game medals, implant tokens, wanderers, mystery shots, promo coins, divine shots, like any kind of stackable currency, including luck tokens. And in a more recent change, they made you capable of withdrawing epic luck tokens from it, even whilst in combat. Which is just fan-fucking-tastic for stuff like when a superior suddenly spawns. We don't want to use epic lucks on every single Hydra kill. I don't have those kind of epics, that would be way too expensive to keep up. But, if we can withdraw one every time a superior spawns, that's a lot more lucrative. Uh, I could use a Wonder Elixir just for the shits and giggles. I'm gonna have to make a preset in general, I'll uh, check you guys in a minute. I do think I will be relying on the Fang of the Beast as I normally do with the Ancient God Sword. But then I probably need a plan B for when that doesn't hit. See, normally in between the Fang of the Beast and the uh, Dra Draconic Claw specs that I would use on MGI, um, I would use the Chasm Bow to get more special attack back. But that is something we do not do not have right now. I am getting closer, I mean we're at 150 Terra Metal Shots. Honestly, at this point, I may as well try and sell them and just make the money to buy a bow rather than make it fully from scratch. Because, you know, we're already at a reasonable cash stack. This will sell for like an additional 45 bill or so, 300 mil each. And then uh, just save up the money to straight up buy the Chasm Quaker bow. I think that's a good idea. Especially if we can get spooned at Hydra. See, the reason you want to do Hydra and the reason the Superior is so wanted and why I've been looking forward to this 
Like I said, I haven't done it since the changes were made to it. I am looking up the same mistake that I did yesterday uh, for the claws and the superior hydro letters, right? That's what it's all about. Everything else kind of doo doo. I mean, like a regular Dragon Hunt Lance is still a couple of bills, so it's not the worst, but superior hydro letters and claws, those are the drops you want to see, and you can even potentially get a whole lot of them. Not entirely sure what superior hydro letter sells for, but definitely over 10 bill. Uh, there's a few in there for 20 bill each, and that those are the only ones. They are used for elite wanderer tasks, and they recently buffed the outfit as well, so that may help. And then the Hydra Claw. What if we just look up Philo? Yeah, there's none in the trading post. Maybe any Dragon Hunter Lances? Also, no. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well. They are expensive. Oh, yeah, Claw. Last sold 50 bill 27 days ago for 70 bill. 50 bill is the bare minimum, I would say, but maybe at first we can even just aim for getting our own Dragon Hunter Lance. I don't think that's the worst idea either. Anyway, enough ranting. That is the plan for now. Super excited, as you can probably tell. I should also definitely add it to one of my loot trackers. Let's just get rid of 4 cap. I'm not going to do that anytime soon again. And then put the... No, not by select. <laughs> Fuck's sake, okay, well, you, you know the deal. I'm gonna add Hydra to uh, the tracking. 